So today we're going to be taking a look at the Three Doctors set. Uh, now this set was released uh, just before the Damon set, uh, sort of like uh, 2012 I want to say, and it was the first and sort of the three um, main sort of Third Doctor sets that were like this with three figures. Um, the only sort of constant thing they have is the birth of a Brigadier in, two of them have Joe in, one is a Master, you, you, you'll know what I'm on about if you care. And uh, yeah, so this is the last one I have to do. And uh, yeah, uh, we'll get straight into it. We'll start with the Brigadier figure, as it is the uh, least interesting of the ones, because it is, um, well actually, it's not really. We'll explain sort of as we go on. Uh, first of all, his articulation. His head can move from side to side. We have arm articulation with um, bicep, elbow, and wrist. We have waist, T crotch, thigh, and knee. <sighs> My god. I, I, I've said this re uh, recently as well. The amount of times I've gone over that exact st uh, type of articulation, it's very standard. But if you just say standard articulation, people don't always know what you mean. I say people, one person, and they end up commenting and commenting and commenting, and I, it, I, it, 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 it grinds you down. Just grinds you down. Anyway, his head. I've gone over this exact head sculpt before in the previous video, the Damon set review. So go check that out if you're interested. Uh, just the paint apps though. The, 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 I've, they've been a lot better on this figure actually. I think um, I the black's a lot sharper along with the eyes, the eye paint and along with the mouth paint. Um, and it's a, I don't know, it's, it seems like a much cleaner job. Uh, the same with the hair as well, it seems to be a lot sort of cleaner. The hat is, and that is pretty much the same, so yeah, go check that out if you're interested in what I think about that. And the main sort of sale that you can put in this figure, I think, really, for collectors, is this uniform. This is the only way you can get the Brigadier in his sort of shirt uniform again not army so i don't really know but you know it's it's a very nice variation uh, we'll go over from the torso down and whatever so first at the top we have his nice sort of green tie with a white shirt there along with the pearl sticking out all the sculpt uh, we have all these lovely sort of crown detail on the shoulders we have all these badges and i don't know that's not badges i think it's standard uniform things and yeah, that's sort of like a queen's crown and then there's three Oops, um, uh, whatever you'd call them, gold, um, what's the word? Uh, um, don't want to say try diamonds, there we go, I don't know why I can't remember that. Then we have these red things here with the black lines and that. This is all very accurate, by the way, I've sort of done some photo checks, um, yeah, it's been very nice done. We have his brown band going all the way across his body, across his shoulder, and across his back there. All sort of clips on, we also have uh, gold, uh, some gold paint here to give it that sort of clip look along with the dot there uh, same here with his belt his uh, holster has got a bit of detail on there as you can see he's got some like wear on uh, assume that would be from where he'd be you know, doing that walking about with it I guess that's what that would supposedly come from in real life and uh, the holster is not really removable nor does it work uh, just to point that out he has a unit on uh, this side of his arm not on the other side in a blue sort of um, set, it's just sort of circle with obviously unit in. It looks a little bit sort of um, not so much straight, but uh, it's you know it's it's well done. I think that's because there's been a bit of paint bleed there actually. As you can see, oh you can't if you're not able to see any of that. I do apologise. Um, it's kind of hard to see on camera. Yeah, you can sort of see it sticking out there. I don't know, just a nitpick that I think only insane people really go to insane other sane people you lucky people who have not lost your mind yet uh, will not really notice anyway again lots of just sort of gold detail especially the pockets here uh, no real sculpting to make it like they're holding anything they're just sort of there uh, we do have a one problem uh, you can see there's a bit of glue there uh, sort of sticking around um, which is slightly, slightly annoying I guess uh, also just want to say I've got, I forgot to go over the articulation his arms can bend out um, <laughs> I actually didn't know that myself because uh, they look like um, straight sort of joints there. Because uh, other ones you can tell because it's all sort of in that part of the shoulder. Uh, but yeah, I, well, he's got better things to be displayed with. I think he actually did. I know that, and I'm, I've just forgotten. Probably that's more the likely one. Uh, but yeah, like I said, his belt has been really nice. Apart from the glue, gold, and that we've got all these little dots about um, to give you that sort of you know where you adjust the belt. And yeah, very nicely done. Moving on to his legs, he is just has simple green legs uh, with sort of simple sort of trousers. These are the same legs on the other two releases of the Brigadier, and I've gone over them all the time, so I'm not really going to bother. He does have brown gloves instead of black gloves this time, uh, but they are the same sculpt, just in a nice brown colour. His pistol is the same as the other ones, so I have three Brigadier, Brigadier pistols in total. 
that is as much as you will ever get well as I'm recording this uh, you never know it could get re-released the Brigadier that would be cool although I would have him but you don't, you don't matter you can't have too many Brigadiers but yeah very nicely done the pistol uh, very accurate and that's about it for your Brigadier he's, like I said he's the more boring one out of the set uh, because he doesn't re for, especially for collectors because uh, you might already have one or even two like I do of uh, this figure yeah he's quite different um, you have to admit he is out of the other out of the three, there are the main two variants. There's Jumper Brigadier and this Brigadier. The Jumper with hat, the Jumper with that hat and Jumper with Bere are subtle changes, which I think some people don't really care about. I myself do, but yeah, that's the Brigadier. We'll now move on to the Joe Grant figure. Here is the Joe. Uh, before we get into it, uh, she's very hard to stand up uh, because her legs have become very close together. Uh, the tip to get, do this, just really stretch them apart and when they come back in, they should stick out, as you can see. It's a very useful thing when you're displaying the figure. Her articulation, the head can move, uh, could do more when the jacket's off, but we'll talk about that in a bit. We have ball jointed shoulders, we have obviously movement in there, we have thigh, um, bicep articulation, not thigh. Uh, we have elbow, uh, it's rather limited though with, in, on this style of arm. On this style of arm, though, it's like that. You may be, why is there another arm? You'll see in a moment. Uh, we have wrist articulation. It's a bit stiff on this one, but it is there. We have hip. Uh, T crotch joint. Uh, but it, oh, actually, no. It, 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 it's kind of, you can move them, but it's not quite T crotch. I don't know what you'd call it. Uh, we have thigh articulation, and we have knee. No foot, because it wouldn't really make sense, would it? Um, but yeah, she's just, the, this is the original Joe figure. So we shall take it into shot. So here is the terrifying paint job. I mean, it. I think we've all got a new screensaver now, haven't we? Just everyone screenshot this and have that on your laptop or iPad or phone for a week and see how long it takes before you actually uh, start having nightmares. Uh, because I'm sure it'll be very soon. It's. It, it, to be honest, the likeness of Joe is. You can sort of see the Joe Grant in there, but it. It's a rather insane one. Um, I don't quite think they've done the greatest of jobs on this one compared to other sculpt stuff. But I always feel like I think the best companion sculpt they've ever done is I think Leela, and then probably followed by Perry. I don't think the Sophie Aldred one's amazing, nor do I think the Joe Grant one is. But it's still okay. It's still okay. It's still it, you can tell it's Joe. Uh, the hair has been very beautifully done. We have sort of a brown wash in the uh, sort of blonde. Well, the issue is blonde, so the blonde hair. And it's all got this nice wavery sort of sculpted effect. Uh, it looks like it's all over the um, the jacket, the um, whatever the hell this jacket is. More on that mo in a moment. Uh, but yeah, it's been very nicely done. Um, it could easily be snapped off. So if you are giving this to a child, then uh, yeah, I wouldn't. Um, I wouldn't give a a, a set that costs you about twenty pounds now uh, on eBay at the moment. I wouldn't give it to a child. I'd just buy them a really crap sad man and say, yeah, hit this on a wall for a bit, and then maybe when you're older, you can get some betterly done ones. Anyway. Moving on, uh, yeah, so yeah, her face is okay, but um, not the best. Her jacket, uh, well, more on the actual other parts of the body, so but her jacket is a fur jacket, uh, fur waistcoat, whatever you want to call it. It's been very nicely done here. The actual fashion itself is ludicrous, but it's been very nice. It's all very rough. This isn't like paint trickery, it's all sort of sculpted. Uh, you get your fingernail in there and whatnot, and it's really nicely done. It's got this sort of white wash in the light blue. To give it that sort of furry effect, um, or that sort of like, yeah, I guess furry is that the right term, and it's really nice. So it's, on the inside, it's just blue PVC, uh, which you know it doesn't really matter because you won't really see the inside. But yeah, the arms do a good job of mimicking the um, sort of the subtle transition from the actual torso to the arm, and uh, yeah, we also have a bit of the uh, the rest of the sort of the sk skirt. I don't know. I don't, I'm not, like, I'm not army, nor am I fashion, so I don't really know the technical term. But, yeah, we have the rest of her, sort of, um, whatever it is here, with all her rings on. Which is nice. These are actually sculpted as well. These aren't painted on. These are actually part of the, um, the sculpt, so that's quite nice. Uh, same with this, uh, the rings are painted on the inside as well, as you can see on each hand. So, yeah, the detail is very nice, very nice on this figure. It's rather good, if you do see it yourself. Anyway. We are now demonstrate how you take a jacket off. So first of all, you um, take off her limbs. Oh god. Okay. You now uh, burn it to a cross. Uh, do a ten devil chants. Uh, you um, spit in a mug nine times. Drink ten cups of coffee. 
and then you take this off um, that they are key points to do key you've got to do those points otherwise the next thing doesn't work and then uh, now at the moment she looks a little odd um, I think if you display your geographic figure like this it, it'll turn some heads but for the wrong reasons you'll be everyone thinking why is that very scary lady got no arms because <laughs> let's be honest not many people know Joe Grant is unfortunately in the modern world anyway uh, then the arms just simply plug in I say simply it's a bit of a bastard of a job as you can see they don't just fit in you've got to really push them in so excuse us a second you'll know for the rings look they should click oh come on you bastard You may be thinking, oh, he's just weak. Ah. Most videos you see of people doing this, they do struggle a lot. So, I mean, maybe it says something about Class Doctor Who fans, but, you know. Yeah, I feel like it's in, but I feel like as soon as I... Yeah. It's they're not It's not the best feature ever. Um, currently, she's on cross it, so we can get the other one in. I'm in an awkward position to do this as well. I'm not on the... I would do it standing up, probably. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. I've got no thumb. Uh, she, <laughs> she's um, on the cross at the moment. Uh, in a Jesus Christ pose. So, I think I've got that one on. Um, this one ain't going to bend. There we go. Okay, they're in. Ow, my thumb. So, the top itself. These are all sculpted again, like on the um, this part of the arms. If you want just a comparison to the other arm... Yeah, it's it, you know they've just taken each part of the sculpts and that, and it's been very nicely done. Um, I, you know, it's re I really, I really like this feature. Uh, the problem, obviously, it has. It's very hard to do. So, um, yeah, I think you, if you're a kid, you ain't gonna, you will really will struggle to do this. Um, also, not as bad as the Ace figure, but some of the blue paint does start to chip off. As you can see there on the shoulder, it has started to chip. So, you know, I do be careful in doing this, and you know, joking aside, it is, you do, you do want to be careful. Uh, there's a bit of missing paint there, you can see it's a bit got, but I'm not really too bothered. Uh, the general sort of consensus of it is there, that's probably not the right word, uh, but it's it's all there, We've got a white sort of turtleneck there. It is 70s fashion, really, isn't it, what can you say? She's got that colour tight on, I I don't know, I don't know. And then she's got these blue boots, blue go-go boots, which are uh, magnificent, I think is the correct term there. Uh, she can also do this with uh, the purpose of articulation. So, um, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm sure everyone's going to display a Joe Grant figure like that. Uh, she's lo she looks like she's doing a really weird dance video. Uh, yeah, so that's the Joe figure. Pretty much. Um, I don't want to go. If it, you know, I could go in a lot more. I could go in more detail with other parts of the figure, I guess. But the main thing is, when you're watching these reviews, you just kind of want to know if the figures are good or not, and how accurate they are. And uh, I think if you want to, I think there are types of reviews. If you want a review on a product all about my, all about detail and that, you know, I think there are some good reviews out there. For, so, so especially some of these newer ones where there were a lot more people reviewing them when they came out. You know, I think they are possibly better. This one, for me, is basically, this is an older set of figures. Is it worth adding to the collection? Well, let's look at the figures, does stuff work and that. And you can see with this one, uh, that is the ghost of Joe Grant, by the way. Uh, it, the feature works, just with a bit of force. Uh, it looks rather good. Uh, the Joe Grant figure itself, apart from the scary face, is quite good. One problem, as you can see here, the hair, because it should be on the jacket, does kind of, you know, stick up a bit. Uh, but it's no real problem. I mean, the Time Monster figure's got the same problem because it is the same figure. The Time Monster figure, they just took it like this without the fur coat on and just painted it, uh, pretty much. And you can know that because you, take, you can take out the arms of the Time Monster figure and you can see the blue. So, you know, I think I'm actually going to display Joe like this for a while because she's had a fur coat on in the display. So, you know, just keep changing it up, I guess. So, yeah, that's the Joe figure. Um, and for the rest of the video, until we do the end, she shall go there. So, we'll move on now to the final figure, the Gel Guard. He's a bit big, so we'll just move back slightly. So, the Gel Guard articulation is rather limited. His moot claw can move up and down and has a bit of twisting. That's his articulation. Right, moving on to the detail. We have a. I think the main draw to this of the, is the eye. Beautifully done. We've got the, uh, the black pupil there, we've got lots of sort of. Um, Plastic detail on it, but then we've got this sort of green bulbous um, eyelid. Uh, I don't know what that is. And then 
yeah, it's all glossy and shiny, and it's really cool. Next, we have just all the sort of red and green bubbles all around, all very nicely sculpted here, as you can see. Beautifully done. Uh, really a, a true work of art. His claw, as you can see, is uh, not so much bubbly, more of just sort of organic. It's very organic, this figure, and he just looks really nice. This figure is really cool, really cool looking. It's a bit big, but I think they really, in all honesty, they were quite big little, uh, big things. I would say big little things, that doesn't make sense. Also, if you want to see when you can close audio up, it's not just, um, see, just like smooth plastic. It is rough and sculpted. Uh, they haven't painted the joint, which you can see why, because it would rub off eventually, but, you know, when face on, you can see it, and it's, that's probably the best angle for face on, with the claw up like that, just so you can't really see it. But yeah, uh, then also down here, to give it that sort of flat feel, we have, um, some, a bit more, we have a bit of black paint in there, and it's all just sort of been, just sort of the tone of the bubbles just sort of gets lesser and lesser as it goes down. That's not a word I know, but I can't think of anything else right now. But yeah, we've got a black and green. It's... Oh. Oh. Okay. If the video went weird then. I have no. I have no idea why but my camera sort of just froze. Uh, yeah, it's happened before that, and I just kind of just like listen to the video. So who knows what that's going to turn out like? Yeah. Also, they did have a, a thin thing as well, which I think some people might remember, and that is sort of been sculpted here, as you can see. Uh, it's sort of not so much on this side, but yeah, it is the kind of there. So don't worry about that, for all you thin fans. Uh, now about the, the the crap Star Wars character. I mean, what? I didn't say anything. Um, oh god, yeah. Anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, as you know, well, you, you won't know, I haven't told you, he is rotocast, meaning he has a hole in there, as you can see. Uh, now this figure, the gel guards, they were quite colourful and light figures, so, if I get a light, a torch, we stick it up, as you can see, you can't see anything because the torch isn't powerful enough, and I haven't thought that through. That That's not worked. Um, he's... <sighs> This is annoying now. Um, hmm. Hmm. Do I have a powerful torch? Wait, well, I think I might do it. I'll be back. Right, it turns out I can't find a torch. Uh, but if you do have this figure, basically just shine like an iPhone torch, whatever, inside there. And it will turn glow all orange and look really screen accurate. And it looks rather cool, uh, as I've done it before. Uh, but yeah, it's, I'm too tired and I've, just, I've been looking and I can't find anything. So yeah, so that about does it for this three doctors set review hope you enjoyed uh yeah sorry if this is a bit shorter sorry if you didn't get all the information that you wanted if there's any questions you have for the set do ask me and i will answer them uh but yeah hope you enjoyed the video uh it's a really nice set you can get it about 20 pounds on ebay which is totally worth it um brigadier fig the other figures are all really nice as much as i've joked about a few of them they are very nice figures and they do look really good on the shelf especially with an omega figure and that set uh the three any of the three doctors set can go for uh, quite low amounts of money as well so yeah, so it's all good, and uh, yeah, so see you guys in the next one. Also, any of you subscribed from the Doctor Who Garden or watching this video, uh, thank you so much. Uh, you've got me to 300, and I can't. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Anyway, see you in the next one. Bye.